Now when you open up shadows, uh, and we did a little bit of that here by dragging around on the histogram itself to affect the shadow slider, you're going to introduce noise. That's just, oops, not J, Y. You're going to introduce noise. That's just the way it is. So we can deal with that by cruising down further in our panel set over here on the right side of the develop module and let's click the detail panel. So the detail panel is where your sharpening controls and your noise reduction is going to be. So we're not going to talk about sharpening until the end of the day today because that's really the workflow. So sharpening is, is pretty destructive so you want to save that to the end until you're finished. You know, sharpen it up, polish it up, send it out the door. So we're going to talk about sharpening later, but I do want to talk just a little bit about noise reduction. So here's your noise reduction right here. By default, Lightroom is going to try to reduce some of the color noise in your image. And there's two kinds of noise that you're going to encounter. You're going to encounter luminance noise, which is really like the intensity of light. So that kind of noise is going to look more grayscale. And you, you can also have color noise, which looks like out of focus, really microscopic out of focus Christmas lights. You'll find color speckles in your image. So Lightroom's doing a little bit of noise reduction insofar as color noise, but it's not doing any luminance noise reduction. So for this image, that's what we'd have because we've got mostly shades of gray all the way around this crater here. So you've got a little zoom detail panel right here and you can click and drag within this preview which is just like a zoomed in loop to position it on a portion of your image that's important to you and that way you can see the effects of your noise reduction on the most important part which can you guess that would be the glopping lava <laughs> So you can either mouse around within this preview to try to find the spot. Unlike Photoshop, we don't have flick and pan. We can't toss our image around like we can in Photoshop here in Lightroom. So a little bit of a faster way to get to a specific position in your photo in this preview panel is to grab this little tool right here and just click. And that positions the little zoom panel wherever you'd like it. It's just a little bit faster. So since that's the most important part of the image to me, I'm going to position it so that I can see those dark areas that are nearest my focal point. And then I'm going to skip over the sharpening on this one. <clears throat> and we're just going to grab the luminance slider and drag it slightly leftward. And you can tell Let's look at our before and our after. See, that just shows you the, the entire, everything that you've done. So let's, in this case, mouse up to the top of the detail panel and let's use that switch. So now we can see the difference between having it on and having it off. And I'll zoom in a little bit more and then reposition this larger image over here. It's kind of hard to see, so I'll do a little bit more I'll make it extreme so you can see. If we go too far with it, it's really just blurring. That's what's happening in the background. But if we don't do it quite so much, and then we flick that little switch, now you can begin to see some of the noise reduction. So here's with it off, here's with it on. See how it's just smoothing out those pixels? So that's how you can reduce some noise in your image. If you do open up your shadows to the point where then you've introduced a little noise, you can hide it. You're really not going to get rid of it, but Lightroom will blur those pixels in such a way that it's not as noticeable. And if you've got noise going on in your image and you definitely want to reduce the noise before you start sharpening, because then you would just be accentuating the noise, making it more noticeable, and that would be bad. All right, let's zoom back out a little bit. So that is noise reduction. One more image for you on that one. This one, I still can't believe that the camera captured it because it was dark outside. This light was so faint to my eyes 
and I was shooting with that Canon 5D Mark III that's got this outrageous ability to shoot. Forget shooting in, no, in low light, it shoots in no light. <laughs> and that's what happened here, and I really couldn't believe it. But when I went in and made my exposure adjustments, then I introduced a little noise. Let's take a look at the before and after. Yeah, did you see the image on the left-hand side change? Like it was a little darker and then it changed? That's that camera calibration and uh, process version at work there. That's why your images are gonna change automatically because that's happening. That's what we set up at the top of the day. So if you weren't here for that, then I'm real sorry. No, <laughs> buy the class, no. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so as I was fixing my exposure here and I wanted my blacks to be really, you know, pretty black but not completely plugged up, then I introduced some noise. So we can come down here to the detail panel and again you can reposition what you're looking at by clicking and dragging on this preview or to be more precise with it, give this little tool a click and then come over to the portion of your image that you really want to look at. And now, if I close my histogram, so we can see our noise reduction slider and our little zoom in. You can see that as I drag that luminant slider to the right, then indeed my noise is disappearing, but it's just being blurred. And it's kind of a neat little effect on this particular kind of image because we're dealing with clouds. So by default, the luminance is set at zero and you can see that I've got a noise party going on right here. So if you've got an image like this, then you can reduce the noise, which is going to blur it a little bit. <clears throat> now I will tell you, if you are submitting images for stock, if you put that setting anything over 25, you're not going to get your photo accepted because noise is one of the big things that the inspectors are looking for. So for stock photography, you really can't go past 25. I'm not saying there's not an instance where that might not get accepted, but generally, as a rule, you shouldn't go over 25 on noise reduction if you are submitting for stock. 